particularly useful in shortening the break-in period for my new Dennis Wick Heritage 3C. This is because of the demand on the small fiber muscles that flex and form around the mouthpiece. My face has had a few years to make those adjustments to my previous Dennis Wick mouthpiece, the American Classic 3C. The two pieces are similar, but different enough that it's going to take some time to break in the new one, which I believe in the long run will be a better piece for what I do the majority of my work on. Larry has talked about how the low compression levels is where most folks are going to find the most benefit while using the CTS. I found this to be true for me. It looks something like this. <laughs> 